Small dairy farms have been disappearing around the region, but one family by Nome, North Dakota, is one of the few still hanging on. And as Kevin Wallavend reports, they have no plans to change. As the cold December sun started to come up at the Johnson Dairy Farm, stand still. Rosie Johnson got ready to take on the day, like she does every day, twice a day. Rosie tied the tails on her jerseys and Holsteins. Everybody says, oh, they're such sweet, little, gentle little cows. No, they're not. They have attitudes. <laughs> right now, milking just nine cows, soon 17. Yeah, we milk three at a time. Nights we milk four, which goes really fast. Rosie and her husband, Roger. 701 is washed to feed done. Both in their 70s have been milking for decades. Rosie still bucket milks, putting surge milkers on the cows that she knows by name. It's Wonton and Belle and Sparkle are the three jerseys in a row there. There are days Rosie milks cows by hand if a cow happens to be injured or the power goes out. The Johnson's primitive milking is practiced by so few in the state, it's now hard to get parts for their milkers. But Rosie says they get by, always have, milking twice a day, 365 days a year. Holidays, weekends. I guess we've always done it. We, I mean, I have. I don't know anything else. Yes, you need petted. And, uh, you know, it's when my kids were both home, they would milk one weekend. We'd go to Medora for our anniversary. It's hard for dairy farmers to call it quits. It's emotional, and it's such a way of life, even though it's tough. Her body has taken a toll. I've had both knees replaced and one shoulder fixed so far. Where else can you come to work? Surrounded by cats, dogs, and a horse, Rosie says this would be tough to leave. I said, I'll never move to town unless somebody forces me. Thanks for watching Ag Week on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We post new videos every Saturday.